So in the spur of the moment, I decided that I wanted to redo my daughter's playroom and hopefully future children's to come playroom. Uh, it just, it's a really dark drabby color because it was like a dining room or something like that when we first moved in. And since we converted it to a playroom, I really think it's so drabby to play in. It's like this dark navy blue. It's not fun. It's not exciting. And I want something that my child or in future children walk in and like, this is so cool. You know, even though it's just like, it's nothing crazy. It's a small little space, but I am so excited. So I went to Home Depot. I wish I would have filmed me looking at paint samples and stuff like that. But I got pink and blue and yellow and chalkboard paint so it's going to be all kinds of fun colors and something that she can actually interact with because I'm going to do chalkboard paint and stuff like that. I'm going to have a geometric wall so that way I had like less paint to buy um, because I'm just doing like sample colors in random spots. So it's going to be super fun. I'm so excited. I have this vision. I don't know if it'll pan out to look how I want it to look but regardless it has to be better than what it is now. This drabby dark color and you know, I see that modern's kind of in. A lot of nurseries are like whites and beiges and grays. And that's great, totally great. Not for me though. I kind of want my children to experience more like vibrant, fun energy and colors. Not that you can't have fun in like a white beige or whatever environment, not saying that at all. Just for me personally, I like to save that for like the rest of my house. Like I would have a very white and gray bathroom and I love it. I think it's a beautiful modern bathroom, but in terms of my kids, I want them to have colors splattered all around because I think it's more fun for them. And I think that she's gonna have a good time with it. And I think when her friends come over or my future children's friends come over, they're gonna enjoy it too. So I'm doing this on a very modest budget because I do have tight finances being a stay-at-home mom so I'm actually to pay for redoing the room um, I'm selling some shirts I made online that are like mom apparel I'll link them down below if you're interested in looking at like my mom apparel I love designing shirts and then I'm selling stuff around the house actually like a futon that we really don't have any use for and um, my husband's old really nice sunglasses that he really loved at one time that he is now just hates so they are going for like $150 or something crazy like that so selling stuff around the house so that way I can fund this playroom because I just really want to give my kid and kids so much like I would give my freaking intestines for them. I love her so much. And I say them, I only have one child right now, but I know that any children that come along, I will freaking love. So I'm just so excited to do this for them and I hope it turns out great. I'm going to videotape the process, so stick with me on this journey. So this is the current playroom situation. There's my daughter right there. Okay, so I'm going to move this couch over against this wall and I'm gonna move this toy chest in that corner. I'm gonna put a TV up on that mount. I'm gonna move these toy bins over into this corner. This wall I envision being a chalkboard wall. I envision this wall being a chalkboard wall. This wall is gonna be white. This wall I wanna do like multicolored geometric shapes. And then this wall is also going to be white. I'm going to take this hammock down because it kind of looks tacky and didn't look as good as I thought it would. And then I'm going to have like a table in the middle. I'm going to move her bean bag over here so that she can watch TV. And yeah, are you excited? Get that out of your mouth. So let's get started. First, we're going to do the chalkboard wall. So I got Rust Roleum chalkboard paint, poured it, and let's get going. I started off by painting the wall just a thin layer and then I realized I actually need a thicker layer and that's why it kind of comes out kind of patchy which you'll see in a second. I didn't use any tapers, painters tape to begin with. So the chalkboard wall is done. Hopefully it dries better than it looks because that looks patchy and not very good but I'm not that crafty so we'll see how it goes. Now I have moved on to the next wall after the chalkboard paint finally dried the way I wanted it to. It still wasn't perfect, but it did its job. I did use painter's tape this time around because I realized it actually goes faster using painter's tape than using a paintbrush trying to get around and cut corners. Really just didn't help me, so I used painter's tape and I began painting. I made sure I used a really thick layer of paint and I barely put any pressure down on the wall so that way I wouldn't get those ugly brush strokes or roller strokes.
Okay, so we officially have the chalkboard wall done, the wall next to it, and I'm working on the geometric wall. Uh, but I actually ran out of painter's tape, so I have to go get some more, but this is what it looks like so far. Woo! I'm really excited for how this is gonna turn out, but it has actually been a lot of work because um, the lines have to be cut straight. And I did it like I got like halfway through and then realized that my lines weren't straight and I brought out a level and I was like, yeah, so I had to start from scratch. But we're getting So to do the geometric wall, there actually isn't a whole lot of strategy involved. You can kind of just do whatever the heck you want, except if you do have true vertical lines or horizontal lines, you definitely want to use a level because you may think you're putting the tape on straight, but I will probably guarantee you that you are not. So definitely use a level. I would also recommend before you just start painting away to plan out what color you want where because you can run into trouble if you just start painting away. Certain colors may be right next to each other and not look as good. So I had just taken a pencil and wrote in like what color I wanted to go where and made sure it all made sense. Now it's time to peel and do our reveal. There was a little bit of bleed through. I've heard that like green frog tape works better, but for the purpose of a playroom, it really, I was very happy with the result. I'm, I just, I loved it. So now it was time to move everything out so that I could give it a good clean before I rearranged everything how I wanted it. And I'm actually kind of bummed because I moved those couches out into my foyer all by myself and somehow I missed filming it. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I moved those bad boys all by myself. I'm a strong woman. So now that everything was moved out, except for that giant chest, which was too heavy for me to move out, it was time to clean and vacuum and get everything ready to come back in. My final reveal is coming in just a minute, so stay tuned.